it was like uh, pretty early my first season. I realized we were listening to the same 10 songs on the road, so I kind of took it upon myself to start making some uh, some playlists and uh, kind of changing the music, uh, especially on the road when there was no Wi-Fi, to kind of get them downloaded and uh, make sure we had something uh, a little different and a little more uh, game-like, for, for especially for the road games. So, uh, so the, and then. Uh, guys seem to like it and then I've kind of been stuck with the job ever since. I think it all starts with uh, having an actual opinion about what is being played in here. Uh, some guys really don't care and uh, some guys are very vocal about what kind of music they want and uh, I'm very specific about it. I mean it's uh, it's really hard to please everyone in, uh, in a locker room because there's so many opinions and uh, so many different ki types of music so I kind of started the year try to take uh, take a couple wishes if there are guys that want uh, any specific songs or genres that, that they want on the playlist, I try to incorporate that a little bit. Uh, but other than that, I just try to play it by ear and, and see what people like. And hopefully uh, no, one, no, one, no one's ears are bleeding when, when the game starts. So how would you describe your own taste in music? Very broad. I try to listen to a little bit of everything, but if I had to pick one, if I had to go to a deserted island for the rest of my life and go with one, I think I'd go with uh, classic rock. The most popular one in, in Finland, I would say, is, is definitely hard rock, and uh, I think it kind of goes for this locker room as well. Then we have, uh, we have a couple guys that like hip-hop, we have uh, quite a few guys too that like, the, like techno and electronic music, more modern stuff. Uh, and one of the things that really don't make it into this locker room is like uh, like new school music, like pop music and all this stuff that's really uh, really none of that in here. How about uh, Finnish music? I mean Finnish music that where they sing in Finnish. Do you, do you really want my honest opinion yes, about this? Yes, we always want your honest opinion. Uh, no, I, uh, I've, been, I've been like asked to put some of the YVG uh, stuff on our playlist which I like. I think that's uh, that's pretty good, even though I don't understand the lick of it, but it's uh, it sounds good. Then uh, it goes for some of the other mu the Finnish music that we've heard this year. There was uh, someone insisted on playing uh, Finnish Christmas music yesterday. Ah, probably the biggest thing in Jokerit history concerning music has been the victory song. Can you tell the story behind behind that, how it came about, and and why yeah. has it stuck? I think uh, right into training camp, uh, yes, it was uh, telling stories about his new boat and like a good summer feeling, and then he was trying to play this uh, these couple of songs uh, for us, and then uh, that that's kind of the way it, it came out. It came really natural for this team for that to be our uh, our winning song. Uh, just like uh, in the same uh, conversation, we had the John Fogerty. Uh, Walking in a Hurricane song, so we just instead of having it as a winning song, we play it uh, as the last song before we go on the ice uh, for warm-ups instead. Really seems that you enjoy the job. No, I do. I do. I mean, I've always said if if you have ten guys in my ear saying this is horrible, this is awful, I will find someone else to do it. If it's only one, there's always the one guy that that can find something to complain about. But I uh, I like it. I like to uh, try to find something new that that I think the, that the guys will like in here.